Hey guys, Chris Mullaney back, and today I am going to be reviewing SH Figure Arts Shin Kamen Rider. Now, of course, this is from the actual Shin Kamen Rider movie, not to be confused with Kamen Rider Shin. That is a completely separate thing. And this right here is, of course, Ichigo. Which, I'm still contemplating if I should get Nigo or even the Cyclone, but I do know that Kamen Rider... Two plus one, I am definitely getting, because that's more of a uh, modern common Rider uh, color scheme compared to this one right here. But still, I mean, both this figure is still a great thing to have, and I am still grateful that I got it when I did. All right. Now let's go over paint apps, articulation, and what this guy comes with. So let's end. Shin. I have no idea what I was doing there. Okay, let's take a closer look at this guy. Now, the helmet, it actually looks pretty good. It's more like a matte black than I was expecting, especially when what it looks like on, from the lighting on the camera. The eyes are extremely compound, so nothing there. And... I actually like this little detail right here where it actually shows like it is very small lettering but if you zoom in it says hang on let me go in a little bit yeah right there is bata og zero one and even though <laughs> this is a shocker writer sort of. and even though he fights against shocker he's still technically a shocker writer shocking right and actually, the scarf is a beautiful red. Um, the boots and the gloves, I was a little bit more shocked with than any other. I mean, they are a nice green. Like, enough where you can tell, like, far away that they're green, but, like, not enough where it's, like, jarring to the eyes. Now, the chest protector... Let me get this scarf out of the way. The chest protector right here, I mean, it's more of a matte, dark green. This, this is more of a dark green. This is almost sort of like a teal, special, and I'm glad that it matches like the the actual mouthpiece with this, with the armor. And let's take a little closer look at the rider belt, the Typhoon. Yeah. I um, mean, it looks extremely well. I like how they actually did this belt in the movie, and it transfers greatly on the toy. Especially since one side releases a prana and the other side controls a cyclone. And the windmill right here is beautifully done. You can tell of all the detailing. Especially on, especially in the crevices right here. You can tell of how much effort they put in here in the back of the suit. The buckle of the actual belt with its own little rivets. So yeah. Now let's go over this guy's articulation real quick. Common Rider Ichigo can look that far up, that far down, look side to side, and lean side to side. And the scarf is on a ball joint, so you can actually have some articulation right there. And if you hold down the head right here, you can actually rotate the scarf a little bit around there as well. Now, <laughs> this is where a lot of people kind of get somewhat okay with, somewhat not okay with. This is definitely not Shinchoko Seho. This is just an SH Fig Art. So, some things you might get with Shinchoko Seho, you're not getting here. Especially right here, because this guy can lean only that far down and this far back. Which, if you lean that far back, then you see like the little gapping in between the actual plates right here and right down there but it actually does use some Shinshuko Seho technology especially with the pet guards as I like to call them they can actually move around which is quite cool and the arms both arms can go about that far out could go a full 360 and both arms are double jointed. 
and yeah, this is and this is actually what it looks like flush. And both knees are double joints, so you can actually go ahead and then like get into a rider pose if I can do mine. About yeah. You get a good rider kick going right here, so yeah. I mean, it's, this figure is just simple enough where it is still Ichigo. Because I've seen pictures of the original Kamen Rider Ichigo suit, and I'm surprised that Kamen Rider Ichigo from Inigo from the first movies didn't have not gotten a renewal yet. I would actually love those figures to be in my hands because I prefer those designs more than this one. I mean, I like it. It's a definite modern take on a classic Showa design, but I love the more mil militaristic and feel of the first movies. Alright, now let's get into what this guy comes with. Now, as you can tell with what this guy comes with, it's not really much, but then again, this is Ichigo, so... There's not much you're going to get with him. Um, you can There's a thing of chopping hands, some fists, and some pointing dynamic hands while the hands I got on here are more relaxed. And this is the actual trench coat that you see him wearing in most of the shots of Shin Kamen Rider. Which I'm actually going to show you how to put that on right now. Alright, now how to put this on is actually extremely simple. First things first, it's got to take off the hands. Yep, we're going to make Kamen Rider not have any hands for right now because it is needed. And from here, you get your trench coat, which actually has bendy wire all through the seams, like down here and even at the back. So, yeah, and get. Get the flaps out like nice and wide as much as you can. Now, the simple way I have found this to be with is actually going to be like right here, putting hands out to the back, and then probably it's better to do it one arm at a time. So, yeah, right there first. And then put this guy back, and then get that arm in, and then and then just to get the hands back on, you might want to roll up the sleeves a little bit. And yeah. And then from there, you just get the hand down a little bit, and do the same thing over here, which I'm going to do off camera now. And then, just fix them up a little bit for you guys. So that he doesn't look completely shabby in this. And bam, now you got him with a full trench coat. Even though with the wire it's hard to make it f sit extremely flush, but still, even though with the wire it still looks good and it's still a good figure to have, so I'm not really too stressed out about that there, so yeah. And for size comparisons, it's not really much, uh, because I was doing a shoot earlier and I forgot to bring some of my more human sized characters. I mean, this is him next to Tiga, and yeah, that's. Pretty much it. So yeah, if you want to pick this up, I highly recommend it. It's not really that expensive, so you can go ahead and then get this guy if you want. But yeah. Now, I mean, my final thoughts are extremely easy, and I'm going to sum this up in a few words after I get this guy into a better pose. Now, this guy is absolutely fantastic. I, I got him more into a writer pose than anything else. And I highly recommend picking up this guy. If you like Kamen Rider, then might as well get this guy up and check out the Shin Kamen Rider movie. Because it was amazing. 
I'm not a fan of the Showa era. The only ones I actually liked was Shin, Z Zeto, J, and um, Black and Black RX was okay. I prefer Black Sun, but then again, that's just me. So yeah, if you like this, you like this. If you don't, you know. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this. And this is Chris Lightning, Wish for Lightning. Check you guys. See you around.